everyone. I have a new Timu haul. So let's get started. So people have asked or commented saying that, you know, opening the bag and each mold on camera is annoying with the plastic wrapping sound. So I've pulled these out and brought them out so you can see. This is a uh, cat candle holder mold that will hang on the wall. And you have to actually fill all three pieces. Just make sure you don't go over this piece here. But uh, this is a little cat. And it was, let's see, cat, was $2.98 on Timu. The exact one on Amazon is $12.99. And again, I accidentally bought another duplicate mold. This is the snail planter mold. He was $4.04 on Timu and $12.99 on Amazon. And I bought another crystal, because I love crystals. This one, let's see, crystal mold, is $2.78 on Timu, and a similar, not exact, but a similar one on Amazon was $9.88. This is a skeleton incense holder. And it is, you can see, it is very big. Let's see if you can get some of the details in there. Bones down the side. It's got the skeleton head. This was $5.98 on Timu. Now, they didn't have them in, that I could find on Amazon individually, but to buy all three, because there are three uh, designs on Timu, I only bought this one, all three is $29.99. This one is $5.98. This I'm super disappointed in. These are supposed to be horn molds for cosplay. Yeah, I could use UV resin, but they're itty, itty, itty bitty. They're, that was $2.99 on Timu and no nothing similar at all on Amazon that I could find. That one's going to be returned. Let's see. This is a stand moon and cat so you pour it and it goes in it'll end up going into the stand and holding itself up like this and this was 4.98 on timu but it is currently sold out and there's nothing similar that i could find on amazon I've seen the wall hanging cat and moon, but the moon was plain and the cat was shaped differently. It wasn't a, a stand one. Now for some of the... Oh, let's see. Hold on. I didn't want to get these lost because they're small. So this was a two-piece... Sorry, let me find it on my list here. Cat, cat, crystal. Ah, bottle ornament mold, two pieces, two sixty nine. Um, you can put flowers or anything in there, and you can turn them into necklaces or whatever. Um, they don't have stoppers to you know be able to add something to it afterwards. It's what you put in the resin and you unmold it, it stays in there. But it's a little globe shape and a little uh, kind of sort of canister bottle shape. That was $2.69 and nothing similar on Amazon for that one. 
This one I'm very, is going back. It is way too small for what I thought it was. Um, so it was $3.98 on Timu. And a similar one on Amazon was eleven sixty nine, but it's bigger. Considerably bigger. Not this little fish. Um, and it's supposed to be a bass. This one looks like a bass freshie. It doesn't even look like the one. It was supposed to be one that had a scene in it. So, my price probably is off for the, the Amazon price, but that's... That's going back. That's not what I thought that was. And another little duplicate. Little, uh, kind of supposed to look like a tortoise, but they put the feet wrong on it. They have a high domed back for a tortoise, but they have the aquatic feet of a sea turtle, an aquatic turtle. So, but it is not the accidental adult version where. You know, they have something else for the head instead. This is an actual turtle head on here. And this is the second one I've got. I've got one I've got partially poured right now. The turtle, the turtle is currently sold out. It was three fourteen on Amazon. A similar version was eleven ninety nine on I'm sorry, three fourteen on Timu and eleven ninety nine on Amazon. Similar version, not exact. Where's my little holographic ones? Okay. So holographic and they're a lot smaller than I expected, but I still like them because of the sheet. Sorry, my back's hurting. Um, and these are holographic. I'm not sure if it's picking up with the wrap on there. I just don't want to get dust or fingerprints while holding them right now. This was $2.69 on Timu and $3.98 on Amazon. This one with the cross was $2.69 on Timu and they didn't have this version on Amazon. And I didn't check the sizes, so the one on Amazon for this one could be bigger. I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and double check on that. I'm saving some of my favorites for last, so let's get to a few other things here. We have some, what's supposed to be the Aurora Glitter Powder, so it changes, it's supposed to change color, it's supposed to be five different, they call them Chameleon, but it's more like, you know, Ghost Powders, Aurora nail powders. They called it five piece magic chameleon pigment powder glitter. And it was three fourteen for all five. Um similar on Amazon, they had a four piece for seven ten and a six piece for eleven ninety nine. Let's see, holographic. Let's see, where is that one? There it is. I didn't realize it was going to be this small. This is supposed to be, sorry, this is supposed to be color change gel nail polish to temperature. Um, it was $4.94 on Timu. And the exact brand name that was on Timu on the lid, at least was what they showed on the lid on there. I don't, I did, sorry about the plastic. I was trying to avoid, but let's see if it says. Yep, the exact name I don't know if it's showing up on there. On Amazon was sixteen eighty eight for the same thing. And it was four ninety four on Timu. And this is itty bitty little color change but it's the thermochromic liquid they call it gel nail polish so i'll have to test around and see how that works if it's actually nail polish or if it's 
how it works. I don't know. We'll see. They sold it as nail polish. And I got these cute little earring, earring potion bottles with little skull and crossbones on there. This was... Pardon me, I'm trying to find it. The... A dollar seventy nine on Timu and four eighty five on Amazon for the exact. This is a set of six Arctic animal figures to do a uh, a resin diorama. I'm going to do one for the Arctic. I've got an owl. Fox, wolf, polar bear, seal, and I forgot what the beluga whale. Yep. So that'll be fun. And this was for the Arctic was three ninety eight on Timu, nine ninety nine for exact on Amazon. This is the six piece, they call it the marine animal version on Timu for $2.98. There's a scallop head, hammerhead shark. Uh, not sure which kind of ray that one's supposed to be, but it's, it's one of the ray family. Uh, spotted dolphin. A, I forgot the proper name. For him, he was supposed to actually have little saw teeth on him. Um, and I believe they call it a shark, but I think it's actually in the, the ray family. And then that looks like a humpback whale, I can't remember. I'll have to look them up. I'll have to look it up. But this six piece was $2.98 on Timu. They didn't have an exact on Amazon. The next one is six piece dolphin so you've got a pink river dolphin i'm not sure what that one is and then you've got a the spotted river Dol or spotted uh dolphin i'm not sure about the little dark brown one or the almost black one i can't remember hmm, excuse me and then you've got your regular typical gray dolphin and i don't even know if he has a specific name I've not kept up with all them, but this was six pieces for $2.98 on Timu, and a similar version was $9.99 on Amazon. I got some... Uh, USB backups because my memory on my computer and my phone and tablet are awful. So I got one for phone, computer, and my tablet. Um, and they're supposed to be dual end. One's supposed to be for like regular USB and the other one's supposed to be the USB-C. Which should be perfect fit, hopefully, for phone. Of course, the regular USB end will match my computer but that way I can get information off and hopefully get it transferred faster too from my when I'm doing these recordings from my phone to my laptop so I can get them edited and uploaded to YouTube my current way takes forever because I have to upload it to YouTube then download it to my computer edit and then reback re-upload again to YouTube and pray I don't it doesn't get frozen on my computer because I've been having issues with memory so these are 128 gig gigabyte uh, flash drives I bought three of them um, two blue and the black one a black one should be the exact same style it's not open I'm not gonna tear into it right now and it actually just kind of sort of rotates for the end. And it's supposed to have 
the USB and USB-C in too. Does it say anything specific? These were on the two blue ones were three sixty six each on Timu and nine sixty nine on Amazon. The black one was three eighty four on Timu and nine sixty nine on Amazon. Okay, so I got some marble shelf liner or wallpaper. They kind of sort of have it listed kind of weird. It's self-adhesive. Um, was thinking about doing this when I get my craft room redone for the some of the rack systems that I, I'm going to have. I'm going to put down solid shelving because they're going to be the wire rack. So I don't want the wire rack to cause problems with molds or anything over the, sitting over there. So we're going to put um, thin sheeting down and I'm probably going to use this over it. If not, I'll find something else. It might be for when I'm doing these so I have a nice layout for doing my unmolding and stuff. I'll still have a silicone mat for while I'm pouring and mixing and everything, but I can have, you know, a nice design for uh, when I do my unmolding or these future video uh, Timu un unboxing videos. So it'll be, you know, instead of like right now, it's because I don't have enough room in the living room to do it. Uh, this is my bed. So this is my bed sheets, which is, you know, black to go with the color scheme of my room, which is black. <laughs> um, I got another... This is just, you know, a personal thing. It's a selfie stick tripod, but it comes with a remote that's supposed to um, do the, I guess, take the picture. It's supposed to work. It says compatible with iOS and Android. It goes up, um, I think it's 31 and a half inches tall. 80 centimeters, so I think that was 31 and a half inches when I looked at it rotates and it retracts down so it goes down to like seven inches when it's completely almost eight inches when it's completely compacted down that's more or less for helping get pictures with my granddaughter and stuff <laughs> or if i actually do need a better you know a taller tripod because my the one i have is a literally itty bitty short one this let's see the wallpaper my apologies the wallpaper is 15.8 inches wide by 118 inches long. It was only $2.59 on Timu. A similar version, not the same width, um, was $19.99 on Amazon. The selfie stick with the remote was $6.98 on Timu. A similar version, the closest I could find, for it was $15.99 on Amazon. And then these are the scene ones I was talking about. I thought that other fish mold was, but it's not. It's something else. I don't know if it might have been sent wrong or what. I got to double check my, my listing. But this is a dolphin scene. So it's, you know, it's the dolphin with a scene in it that you can paint. There's fish, water, beach. Uh, palm trees, other dolphins jumping, a little jellyfish in there. Waves, looks like another little fish, maybe even a mermaid, I'm not really sure. But that's one, and the dolphin is $3.59. But wait, there's more. <laughs> I got a shark one. 
The only thing I don't like is the fact that it actually has the word shark at the bottom. That's just my personal preference. I would have just preferred the scene in it. It's got fish and like seaweed, coral plants in there. And there's some design in the shark. I can't quite make it out. And the, the word, the written word shark. So I'll be having fun decorating these coming up soon. And the shark was also $3.59. This turtle is also $3.59 and it's a scene, it's a scene within the turtle. And I think that's supposed to be like a, a ship bow or octopus tentacle tentacles. I'm not really sure. I think it's actually squid or octopus squid squid tentacles. Got the different shapes. You got some fish. There's a scuba diver. Some coral. Go figure. My name. <laughs> I don't know why I like ocean stuff so much. Could it be my name? <laughs> my mom. Dragon. And this is a scene. And it's really tightly done. So I can't quite make out exactly what it is. So I'm going to have to do a... Might just be a design. I can't really... I see what looks like almost a building. And then some trees... Maybe some fire, but I can't really see much else in the design of them. And the dragon scene mold was three fifty nine. They were all un the these four were all under the same one, and apparently the starfish one that I had ordered was sold out before they got my order sent out, so they took that off my order. Now I have one left, but it is not a Timu. Um, order. It's one I got from Etsy. And I first saw these on um, Claire's Crafty Corner. I got Ammonite and Trilobite um, fossil molds. And I got a free little Ammonite mold. And these are from Red Hot Molds. Uh, Christopher James on Etsy. So, or e apparently it also says eBay on here. So, if you if you like these and are interested in these, these were on um, his shop. Christopher James Red Hot Molds is the is the name on Etsy. And I mean, they're really good quality. They're beautiful, well detailed. I can't wait to create some stuff like that to go along with some of my other uh, ocean scenes that I'll be doing. Uh, let's do some shout-outs. We have Marvelous Artsy. I love watching her. She's on vacation right now. Hopefully she's enjoying her time. And we have uh, Beaden Crazy Custom Creations, Wanda's Blessed Creations, Glitz and Glitter by Michelle, Daniel Cooper, Claire's Crafty Corner, Resin Nut, Mini Scenes GB, Bex Crafts Designs, Southern Lady, T and Art, Wendigoven Studio. I'll have a bunch of these also um, in my description. Amy's Resin Corner, Loose Screws Crafts. Did I say Daniel Cooper? I can't remember. Um, Resin Creations with Allison, Mark Beavis, Moon Pie Creations, and there's Crafting with Carla, Stacy underscore the Crafty Cat, Dragon Creations. Um, I'll have a, quite a few more in uh, my list of a bunch of people that I, lo I love watching. Some of them are more wooden resin. Um... Like Jeff Mack Designs, he does uh, epoxy ta uh, river tables. And you've got Blacktail Studios that also does river tables. Ben's Works, he does a lot of uh, interesting stuff on his. Kind of like what Daniel Cooper does. Um, 
There's Sherry Moulton. Sorry, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> um, Louise Singleton Creations. I hope I haven't missed anybody. Pouring Your Heart Out. Steve McDonald. Southern Lady. Andrew Walker, Art by Me. Many Scenes GB. I think I got everybody. I hope so. Tombish Crafts. I hope I have everybody. Like I said, I'll have a lot more in my description along with I'll um, do my best to find to get the links for these. It might be all in one if Timu will allow it. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Um, but I will try to get that um, put up there and that way you can go through the list and you know, be able to find all of them under one link. It's not an affiliate link. I'm not affiliated with Timu at all. I don't, unfortunately, I don't, I don't get any nice kickbacks from, from them. This is just, you know, to show off molds that maybe other people haven't found. And so they can, you know, help find stuff and see prices and see different things that, uh, somebody else might not have found. And they might find something interesting that they like and want to order and try out themselves. So, I hope you'll have a wonderful day. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, click the bell to follow for uh, notifications. Um, I love reading your comments and do my best to reply back to everybody. Uh, please keep the comments nice. Yes, I sometimes stutter and forget words. I have a neurologic problem. Uh, not fun to make fun of people for that. Um, your comment will be removed if I see that. I won't tolerate anybody, any bullying or anything like that to myself or anybody else in my comments either. I don't, don't be attacking people in there. If people are asking questions or anything, you know, if you have an answer and I haven't gotten to them yet, please go ahead and help them out. I definitely appreciate that. Um, hope you all have a wonderful day and a great start to the week. Thank you and bye-bye.